years. I understand that societal <laughs> norms are changing. It's okay. generally frowned upon Don't to try twist a four-year-old. <laughs> So we're going to get into the top five creepiest examples oh, of Joe funny. Biden. And by the way, this is not a new thing for Republicans. No. Okay, no. and I think we can bring up an overlay here of, uh, of all the sources that they've talked about for us. Oh, wow. Um, if you search at loudwithcredit.com, we, we wrote five years ago about the top five creepiest moments for Joe Biden. So Republicans, conservatives have known about this I thought for that was a just long a known thing. time. It was ignored. No yeah. one cared about it. Uh, they were too busy accusing Brett Kavanaugh of, oh, of oh, running so. quaalude rape gangs. So he did, to be fair, he did just issue a statement on Twitter um, not long before taking the show where he said, I realize that social norms are changing, but I hear you. Hold on a second. <laughs> Are they really changing that much? No. So before we get into the top five examples for context, here's a dramatization of exactly how Vice President Joe Biden allegedly behaved. Hello, Miss Flores. Oh, and for legal liability purposes, I couldn't use an actual woman in this reenactment. Okay, action. <laughs> What's that perfume? Mm. Uh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, don't spoil Cut. it. We spared no expense. <laughs> um, and again, I'm not saying we that the guy's a rapist. Don't I don't to. think that's the case. So I don't no. this, want this to be inconsistent. But I am saying that he behaves in a, a creepy enough way that it would make most women, their spouses, their parents, very uncomfortable. <laughs> Lest you <laughs> think that well. we're making this up, we have video evidence of all of this. So uh, creepy moment number five. This is, uh, it's tough to pick a sequence, but we'll just start with this. Ash Carter's wife, here you go. As well, for their trust and confidence. I've got a lot of thanks to give out oh, here. Look at this. First and foremost, to my perfect my wife, wife Pull Stephanie. her to your side. First off, look at oh. she's looking away at one point. He realizes the cameras are on him. <laughs> That's so creepy. He dude. knows the cameras are on him. He just can't help himself. <laughs> he just needs. I gotta get that? in there, you know. Mm. I get mine, Larry. <laughs> he doesn't care. Your husband's distracted. It's compulsive. <laughs> Oh my it gosh. also shows you, that, imagine a con no conservative would act that with a camera on them because of the torch and pitchfork mob. Oh, God. It just oh, yeah. shows, he knows yeah. that no one was going to call him no on this. Way. Again, doesn't mean he's a rapist, <sighs> doesn't mean that's sexual assault, probably made her very uncomfortable. By the way, hit the notification bell. Uh, join at lottowithcrowder.com slash mugclip if you haven't already. Get the daily show yes. and the entire uh, lineup. Subscribe on iTunes, leave us a rating, and uh, bookmark this page because subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot anymore. Anyway, okay, we'll move on. We have so, there, There's four more clips. Creepy moment number could have four. Been Again, these have been hard to pick. It could have yeah. been a hundred. Yeah. Um, Senator Chris Coons. Let's just go with Senator Chris Coons' daughter. Here you go. Thank you. Thank watch. You. Watch. Uh, okay, <laughs> now. Pull away. Huh? Watch the pull. <laughs> look, ah, look at that. Look at she. She literally bobs her head like a oh. cockatiel. Just. <laughs> She is so un. She's only thirteen. Oh my gosh! But it uh. sounds like she was warned too. She knew when he came in, like she actually started pulling away the moment he no, touched her. It's. It looks to me like she was uncomfortable with what he said oh. before he kissed her. He was mouthing something. He's like, I don't think you should be saying. And then he goes. In. So here's the thing. She was ready for the kiss. Yeah. It wasn't like. A jerk. It was a, we call it in boxing, a bob and weave. You know, it's like, okay, the punch just kind of slips. Right. She just cradled it. She just cradled it. <laughs> that never really to got me too, her. but yeah. with a girl that I was dating. Which means she must have been tipped off. In this case, she I'm must saying. have known what was happening. Yeah. Somebody well, I think when you add up the totality of the evidence. Your Honor. Uh, at least one dad should kick his at ass. Well, one. of course, yes. So here you go. Here's another, here's a creepy moment number three. And then we kind of had to pick one because he's done this multiple times. Oh, yeah. Fondling little girl's chests. Uh -huh. Great. Great. Watch this. The girl reacts. Watch. She pulls away. His hand drifts over. And, oh, no, no. She pulls away. Uh, he does it again. He re yeah, he does it again. Now, I don't know if it's, del I don't know if it's deliberate, but at a certain point, ignorance is not a defense. And here's the thing. Picture, picture if that happened, I don't any any kind of a gathering, baptism, I don't know, a wake, some kind of a funeral, oh, right? You're out at a family event, and something like that happened. Yeah. It would be the sole point of conversation at dinner that night. Everyone, could you, did you see what Uncle Joe did? Yeah, I know. He was touching that. He was touching that teenager's. T it would be. The, it would be the dinner table conversation because of how creepy it is. My point yeah. is, I don't think. I don't know if any crime was committed here. I certainly don't think it constitutes rape. But 
Isn't it creepy enough, especially if we're going to use the standard uh, from today's left? And I don't even think you need to use their standard. I think you need to use the standard of common decency. Yeah. Don't touch little girls' nipples. Yeah. Just, just remember, Stephen, that standards have changed over the last few years. I understand and... that societal <laughs> norms are changing. It's okay. generally frowned upon don't to try... twist a four-year-old. <laughs> Don't try to put him back into that time frame. Many, many, oh, just a few years ago, sorry. Yeah. Everyone's right uptight now. about it now just because I give some guy's wife a hickey at a Senate hearing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just really, it's oh just, my gosh. It's, to me, it's, it's enough. All right, creepy moment number two. Um, again, we're just, uh, let's go with this one. Senator uh, uh, Jim Rich's daughter. Can I go with Jess alone? Uh, look at here. Oh. <laughs> okay, you ever see the movie The Lovely Bones? No? Where it's the pedophile <laughs> think guy? So. Yeah. Be polite. Yeah. Mm. That's oh. the only rule, always be polite. If that's the kind of thing when you watch these creepy films where someone shouldn't be touching a kid in a way yeah. that they're touching them, they brush the hair back like yeah. that. It is incre yeah. it is intensely uncomfortable. By the way, she, he singles out the young girl too. Yeah. This is something you'll notice as a trend. Um, and the dad, by the way, joking about standing too close. It shows that they're already uneasy about the situation. Yeah. What well, you can see with this is not only how they react, but you can see how they kind of try to preempt this because they know it's coming. It's yeah. well known that this is how Joe Biden acts around women, both young and old. Uh, okay, so creepy moment. This one to me deserved the number one spot. Is it? Is it K Kelly? Is it Aoti? Aoti? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Like, these are sometimes I realize I only Peyote. read the names. I don't say them out loud. Okay, his daughter, and here's why: because this one goes on for so long that we actually had to put it in fast forward and put a creepy timer up on the board. Uh, otherwise, it would oh, take wow. the whole show. Yeah. Here you go. Thank you. See All you, right. beautiful child. All right, there you guys. go. It already starts off. No okay, sniffing. <laughs> no Where's boys until you're 32. Going? Now look, look, look. He puts his hands in her, like in her mouth. He's fish hooking her. Oh, that's illegal. Look at this. He's great. He's now he goes back. We're minute nine. Goes back. He's grabbing her hair. Oh. He follows her. She's clearly <laughs> trying to get away. Daddy, she's, she's clearly me. trying to she's get like, away. She's me. holding him. She's holding her face like this. Look, it's the leather strap and the green mile <laughs> pulling her back to the chair. It is so <laughs> creepy. And but no serious guys until you're 31. Who looks at a little girl and thinks about dating? Ah, that, what? that's sad. And by the way, again, pay zero attention. There's a boy there. Yeah, zero no, attention. <laughs> it's like a reverse Michael Jackson syndrome. Yeah. At the very least, he's not gay. No, I don't think. no. Yeah, if he were so. like a grandfatherly figure, uncle figure who just really liked kids, you'd expect there to be a, a, a friendly interaction yeah. with the boys. Well, and here that would also be a way to look and go. Okay, how does he interact with young men? There are some guys, and this is the thing I'm talking about. I know everyone has family members. You have family members who maybe kiss people on the cheek, kiss people on the lips, depending what yeah. your what your uh, your lineage is. I know a lot of Italian people are very affectionate. Yeah, but. Joe Biden acts this way with other professionals or complete strangers. This is what matters here. <laughs> and you would be able to see a pattern if you'd see with little boys, like, hey, how you doing? You know, kind of pop them on the chin or grab yeah. their shoulders, give them a bear hug. But you don't see that. You yeah. see him gravitate toward the women, toward the little girls, sniff them, <laughs> touch their bosoms. Uh. It is unbelievable to me. And it was, some people are calling him out great on the left, others are excusing yeah. him. But here's, in contrast to Kavanaugh, where the left, they completely united despite no real evidence, they, they, they wanted to ruin the guy's career. On the right, again, we are trying to be as consistent as possible yeah. here. We're all saying that his behavior is inappropriate, creepy enough that it would warrant a father, husband, spouse, boyfriend, Kicking an ass. That's what I'm, now here's the big difference though, and not only the difference between how they treated Kavanaugh, right? They accused him of quaalude gang rape. Yeah. Right. right? Along right. with uh, was uh, Ford basically accused him of also trying to rape her in a place yeah. that could not be ver verified at a time that wasn't consistent with people who weren't even there. Right. Kind of like Joe Biden when he talked about things on the campaign trail. I go to Amy's diner. You've never been there. It doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. Hasn't been there for 30 years, and you never spoke with the Pope. <laughs> Um, <laughs> he just makes stuff up. He makes stuff, and he's just, just you know, this just happens. And I don't yeah. think it's deliberately lying. Just like I don't think there's any malice here. But the big difference between what Joe Biden has done, not nearly as egregious as rape, okay? Right. Not nearly as severe as the accusations against Brett Kavanaugh. The difference is Joe Biden did it, and he still <laughs> does it. So people can say, well, hold on a second. On are camera. you saying it's as bad to fondle a young girl's chest that just makes you, are you saying that's as bad as gang rape? No. Well, then you'd have to say Kavanaugh's worse. No, because there's no proof. Yeah. What matters more is the person who 
did it? Is the person guilty? And as it relates to deserving at least a firm ass kicking from a dad, Joe Biden is guilty. Believe your lying eyes. Okay, if you like this video, you know, you watch videos on YouTube. If I were Jimmy Kimmel, if I were Stephen Colbert, or Trevor Noah, I would tell you to subscribe. But I have no corporate overlords who demand that I do this demeaning promo. I do the demeaning promo because I choose to. Subscribe or hit the notification bell because I need you. I need you, please do it.